he won't be here until any later. He may be here later. He won't be here after this. Okay. We'll get started. I have nine o'clock. Are we missing our clerk? We don't have Sherry. We don't have Sherry yet. So sorry. Gotta have somebody to record the meetings. Yeah, well, it's coming up on 901. Can somebody step over and see where she's at? Thank you. <laughs> Good morning, gentlemen. I did. I ate grilled hamburgers. Cheeseburgers, I should say. Make special note that our mics have been adjusted and turned up higher so that you don't have to get as close to them. <laughs> but we definitely need to talk into them for a special reason today. Our, uh, this is our first ever recording that's going to be posted live on the internet. So. Right there in between the ceiling fans. Thank you, ma'am. It'll be, well, it's uh, recorded to uh, uh, a, dr a drive, and then it'll be pointed on our website uh, uh, within an hour or two after the meeting, I'm told. So. And it comes on automatically. You mean on time or, or motion? Motion. Motion. So a ceiling fan should keep it running. Good morning. Are we ready? All right. Good morning. Well, that was enthusiastic. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll declare a uh, quorum. Even though we're missing Commissioner Worley, we still have enough to meet, and I'll call the meeting to order. Before we uh, do our prayer this morning with Dave Fair, I want to announce to everyone in the building or everyone in the room formally that we are. Uh, for the first time ever recording uh, the uh, Brown County Commissioners meetings and they will be uh, uh, so hello to everybody out in the uh, 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 cyber audience and uh, they will be posted to the website shortly after this meeting is over so it's not directly live it's kind of like uh, the Tonight Show you know they record it at 530 in the afternoon but it airs at 1030 at night so there's a little gap in there but not much so uh, so uh, welcome everyone, and we're proud to be able to bring you this meeting for everybody who's uh, via uh, cyberspace, for everybody who's unable to attend in person. So that being said, and I've declared a quorum, I'll call on Dave Fair if you would like to, if you would do the honor, please, in leading us in a prayer. Boys and honor. Thank you, Judge. Judge Pro Kim, Commissioners, elected officials and staff. It's good to see everybody this morning. It's Monday, and we all need it. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day, Lord God. We thank you for your grace and your mercy for us. Father, I ask you to bless every person present in this room today, Lord God. We ask you to be with them. We ask you to minister to them. We ask you to love them, Lord. Father, we pray that you would lead and guide the commissioners and the judge as they go into deliberations on anything. Uh, that they have to deal with, Lord God. Always be with them. Give them that favor. Give them that honor, Lord. Show them your glory. Thank you for watching over us. Thank you for watching over us and blessing us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Dave. Always a pleasure. All right, item number three is uh, citizens' comments. I didn't have anyone signed up. Has uh, anyone want to speak that didn't get to sign up. Okay, then we'll move to item number four, which is consideration and approval of minutes of July 10th, 2019. We got them electronically and... I'll make a motion. Go ahead. 
Okay, we have a motion. I'll second. And we have a second. Did you get that, ma'am? It's kind of quiet over here. All right, Commissioner Shaw, seconded by Commissioner Kelton. Okay, any further discussion on approval of the minutes? All in favor? Motion carries unanimously with the commissioners here. Uh, Commissioner, uh, I'm sorry, item number five, consideration and approval of uh, payment of any bills as needed. We did get our bills uh, also sent to you electronically uh, Friday, if you had a chance to look at them. I didn't see anything that jumped out at me. Okay, uh, we have a motion and a second. Do we have any further discussion? No? Nope. All in favor? Motion carries. So bills will be paid. That's, that's always pleasant. It's good to pay our bills. Uh, let's see. Okay, and then under consent agenda, item number six, uh, we're, we're going to take them individually one at a time. So first is uh, 6A, Commissioner Kelton, and discussion and consideration regarding action on the burn ban. Well, once again, Precinct 2 is been blessed with more rain we're good I think without a burn ban great everybody, everybody for, for no action okay item number 6a we'll just have no action on whatsoever item number 6b uh, is Miss Ferguson our county clerk consideration possible approval of employee changes ma'am you have the floor oh you got to push a little button on top there Commissioner, make a uh, note for the record that Commissioner Worley is joining us. Yours does? I have hired two employees. Um, I, had, uh, I have hired um, Mabel Munoz. She started today at 25000 annually, which is a starting salary for a deputy. And she will replace De Deborah Northcutt, who left May the 23rd with the same salary. And I have hired uh, Kim Gillum. She starts today also at 25000 starting salary. And she will replace Leslie Redburn who left on April the 24th, 2019, at the same salary. Okay. So I'd like both of those salaries approved. Okay, well, if they're beginning salaries, they've already been approved with the commissioners, so we can either vote on it or we could just take it, take it as a non-action item and simply as a report, and i leave it up to you all. <coughs> we traditionally voted, but you say we don't have to, so you, I don't care. You don't have to vote unless you're wanting a salary higher than the beginning salary. Okay, so thank you, Sharon. We'll take that. We'll still sign it. Yes, ma'am. We'll take that as a, uh, uh, a report in report fashion. Same thing with Vance Hill. Did I see the sheriff come in? Sheriff, come on up. It's your turn. Come on down. <laughs> this will be item number 6C, consideration and approval of possible employee changes for the sheriff. Same thing, unless he asks for uh, a salary above what the commissioner's court has already approved, then he can deliver it in report form. How are you all this morning? Good. 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 Uh, back on March the 27th, we uh, terminated Taylor Jake Smith. His salary was 30000 per year. I um, wanted to hire a David Joyner. He was a former employee at the same rate, $30,000 per year. And that's all I have. That's it? Okay, well, then we can take that. Is that that's starting salary for a jailer, correct? Yes, sir. Then we can take that in report form as well. So. Thank you, Sheriff. Do you have anything else uh, on here? Uh, is that on here? Is that? Uh, oh, you're next. Okay, yeah, you also got the jail report. Let me announce it, though. Get it on the record. So item number 6C, Sheriff Van Seal, consideration and approval of uh, what well, says uh, of the jail report. Sorry, I'm reading again, having to squint again. <laughs> uh, we, we currently have 168 inmates with 29 of those being contract inmates. 160. 168. 168. And, and for the for the people watching on the on the web, what's the capacity at your jail? 196. 196. So you're not too far off. I didn't, I didn't know it was loud. <laughs> <laughs> Camera right there between you. Wave it. Wave it. Cyber world out there. So. 
All right, Tiana, I have the same thing for you. Commission, uh, consideration, uh, item number 6E is an Edward consideration uh, and uh, oh, uh, approval of uh, Commissioner Administration. For, oh, is that personnel changes? Okay, yes. Same thing. Consideration, approval, personnel change. We'll word it a little differently. Yes. Let's go back um, I have hired Melody Smith to take the place of Nikki Nichols. Um, Nikki's title was the Indigent Healthcare Assistant. I'm wanting to kind of tweak that a little bit to encompass a little bit more, and so I would like to title her as a staff assistant, but it's just at the same beginning salary of 25000 a year. Okay, commissioners, that's uh, your office. What would you like to do on that? Are we voting on it? Well, is, it, is that the starting salary? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Then you can deliver it just as a report for starting Strong. salary. Thank you, ma'am. I got three. Uh, and the last one, uh, item number 6F, is Bob Contreras out of my office. Presentation of uh, updates on various grants. He just wants to come up and give you an update as to where he is and what he's working on. So this will be a non-action item. Information on the new morning. Thank you. Thanks, sir. I guess I better last time I had to put my mouth right next to this speaker. Can you all hear me now? We can hear you. Okay, great. <laughs> well, first of all, we submitted a 69000 grant for the May water system. Uh, Commissioner Kelton had asked for a generator backup, and the, uh, the shutoff valves are like 50 or 60 years old, so they're not all in great shape. So I submitted a grant, and uh, Tatum called me the other day and said, because it's a generator, it falls into spe special circumstances, and I couldn't include the other things in it. So I resubmitted it for $27,000 for just a generator. So you just separated it? Yes, separated it. And then the, uh, the water shutoff valves will have to go back on a separate grant with probably a separate grantee, the grantor, not, not with FEMA. They're not going to do that. The Brownwood Historical Commission meets on June 25th, and at their meeting they will uh, change their bylaws. When they do and they add us into the bylaws, then we will be able to... Uh, apply for the certified local government uh, applica or grant so that or application so once they change their bylaws and get a copy our thing our uh, application will go forward now I gave you some a handout from the lower Colorado River Authority and you know they've been real good for the last month or so they have reached out to us and extended their grant activities to our county so what I gave you is just some examples of the grants that they've been awarding they're very anxious to be a good neighbor their grants are much less restrictive than most other folks. They, they do have a, a rating criteria, but the, what I gave you is just examples of what they give grants for. They have uh, grants up to $50,000 for many, many different, for, uh, you know, they'll build buildings. And, uh, they'll, I'm sure they'll do generators, just about anything. We just They just have a scoring system. So I gave you the information in front of you so that if there's something in your precinct that you may uh, think may fall into that, then I would ask you just let me know what it is, and I'll I'll get the right. Word. So other than that, uh, that's it. All the other grants you've applied for are still pending. No change. They're all still pending. The the FEMA grants are really uh, long range. For example, the one that we applied for with Commissioner Shaw came open in the May 2018. Was when it opened. Uh, it just now closed in February. Then there's a process of them to review it and then for towards. So those those grants are really long, probably 18 months. Uh, the other grants, not so much, probably six months. So we'll start hearing here shortly, probably at the end of July, on our on our local grants. Okay. And for a note, uh, Bob did appear before the uh, Bob and I went to the monthly fire chiefs meeting and he he taught he explained the uh, LCRA grants to them and all as well. So uh, he did make an appearance at that. Anything else? So that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Thanks, Bob. All right, that was the last item on our agenda. So uh, I, if there's anything else, I will declare us uh, adjourned. We do need to be back here, commissioners, at 10 a.m. for a meeting, a workshop meeting with the uh, radio consultant that the city has hired. I don't. Okay, no problem. I think this is mainly so the sheriff can uh, can get with him formally, and he's traveling from Dallas. 
and uh, it's a no action. It's just a workshop. There will be no action taken on it, uh, any information that's received today anyway. So that will be in this chamber at 10 a.m. Thank you. We're adjourned. This one right here, sir. Didn't finish going right. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, we got wait, one coming Shaw. here. Shaw, we got one more to sign, please.